Okay, here we are studying for test on chapter one. Uh, these are standardized test problems similar to what we're going to see on our tests and also what you'll see on a STAR exam, high school exit exam, um, contractors exam, mostly made up of math. So I won't do all these, I'll just run through a few. Difference between a drawing and a construction. A drawing uses measurements. Construction only uses a straight edge and a compass. Number two, draw ray with an endpoint, A. If you remember point, capital letter marks a point. Um, and it's a ray, so it goes on. I draw an arrow on there to say that it goes on. So that's a ray with the starting point, goes on to infinity, and also contains the point B. Draw and label a parallelogram. Pillow, parallelogram is parallel, means that these two lines would never cross. Parallelogram is two sets of parallel lines. Area of a parallelogram is base times height. That height is always perpendicular to the base. And I want an area of 24, so any factors are 24. I could have 6 and 4, 12 and 2, 8 and 3. So the area of that parallelogram is base times height, 24 inches. A line versus a ray. A line is infinite in both directions. A ray has a starting point and continues on. Number five, I'm looking for a pattern here. So the pattern here, if the first term is one, two, four, seven, I can see I'm plus one, plus two, plus three, so the next term would be plus four, so that would be 11. The next term plus five, 16. Looking for the pattern. Number eight, name the intersection of line AB and line CD. So here's line AB, here's line CD. I could see they intersect at a point E. Skip down to 11. Name three collinear points. Collinear, that would mean on the same line. Collinear. So D, E, and C would be collinear. A, E, and B would also be collinear. Now let's look at these true false problems. Let's come at the, some of these. The intersection of two planes is a point. I have my yellow plane, my purple plane. They do not intersect at a point. They intersect at a line. So number 12 is false. Number 14. Oops, let me scoot up a little bit. A line segment has two endpoints. Well, remember, a line segment has a starting place and an ending place. So yeah, it does have two endpoints. So number 14 would be true. So it gives you an overview of some standardized test problems from chapter one.